questions. Today, we're going to be reading Año's Mysterious Multiplication Bar by Masachiro y Mutumasa Año. This book will explain what a factorial is. Are you ready? Let's get reading. This story is about one jar and what was inside it. What a pretty design. It, there was water in the jar. It seemed as though a bit of wind was blowing inside the jar, for the water was rippling. The rippling water became a wide, deep sea. On the sea, there is one island. On the island, there are two countries. I love how the flags are inverted. Within each country, there were three mountains. On each mountain, there were four walled kingdoms. Within each walled kingdom, there were five villages. Hey look, five birds, five trees. In each village, there were six houses. Within each house, there were seven rooms. These rooms look so pretty, like a little cat. In each room, there were eight cupboards. I really like these two. Within each cupboard, there are nine boxes. I wonder what's inside. Within each box, there are 10 jars. Within each box, there were 10 jars. But how many jars were in all the boxes together? The ends are surprising. There are 10 exclamation mark jars. But 10 exclamation mark does not mean just 10 jars. 10 exclamation mark means 10 factorial or 3,628,800. But how did there come to be so many jars? Let us see. This story is about one jar and what was inside it. When you multiply 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, you get 3,628,800. It is hard to think about a number as big as this. Suppose we use dots to stand for the things in the story. Inside the mysterious jar in the story, there were some things arranged in an ordered mathematical pattern. First, there was water and a ship and a little imagination. But these are not part of the pattern. The pattern begins with the island, which is also inside the jar. On the sea, there is one island. One factorial is one times one factorial, which is one. So there's one dot here. On the island, there were two countries. Two factorial is equivalent to two times one factorial, which is two times one, which is two. So there are two dots here. Within each country, there were three mountains. Three factorial is three times two factorial, or three times two times one, which is six. So there's six dots now. On each mountain, there were four walled kingdoms. Four factorial is four times three times two times one, which is 24, which is also the amount of dots on the page. Within each walled kingdom, there were five villages. Five factorial is five times four times three times two times one. And so the answer, 120, is how many dots are here. In each village, there were six houses. Six factorial is six times five times four times three times two times one, or 720. In each house, there are seven rooms. There's 5,040 dots here, 
because 7 factorial, or 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, is 5,040. Man, there are a lot of dots on the page now. 8 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or 40,320 dots on the page. And those are just the cupboards. 9 factorial is 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 362,880. 10 factorial is 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 4 times 5 times 3 times 2 times 1, which we know is 3,628,800. And within each cupboard, there were nine boxes, and within each box, there were ten jars. But it took up two whole pages just to show 40,320, or 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 dots. And we must still show nine times as many dots, or 362,880 dots. And then there are ten times as many that if we do want to show how many jars there are, and to show 3,628,800 dots, that would take up 180 more pages in this book. That is not a very convenient way to picture or write about large numbers. We might just say that there are 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 dots or jars. But that is not very easy either. Mathematicians like to find short ways to say long numbers. So a mathematician would just say that there are 10 factorial jars, or 10 factorial. And he or she would know that meant 3,628,800 jars. Hey, it's me again, Sophia. Do you want a challenge? If so, I challenge you to solve 11 factorial to 20 factorial. So grab a pencil and some paper and try to figure it out. Remember to pause the video though, because once you unpause, the answers will be revealed on screen in five seconds. So, what did we learn today, mathematicians? We learned what a factorial is. We also learned that the mathematical symbol for a factorial is an exclamation mark after the number. And we learned that there were 3,628,800 jars on the island in that pretty jar. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians.